purpose of these episodes not at all for advice or medical suggestions. These are aimed to provide support to peer pharmacists in training in educational and intellectually stimulating ways. Again, these are not at all for medical advice or medical suggestions. Please see your local board and state certified health professional. The views of this podcast represent those of my guests and I. Poem 1. The dance of pharmacokinetics in the Caribbean breeze, we sway, to the rhythm of drugs ballet each day, pharmacokinetics, a dance so sweet, absorption, distribution, a wondrous feat metabolism's pirouette, in the liver's lair, first pass effect, with grace, we bear, excretions tango, in kidneys embrace, a dance of clearance, in this sacred space, Pharmacoepidemiology's watchful eyes, gather data, under tropical skies, tracking drug safety, in the island's law, a dance of science, on our sandy shore. Poem 2, the harmony of pharmacodynamics in the West Indies tranquil night, pharmacodynamics, a symphony of light, drugs and receptors, in perfect tune, efficacy and potency, beneath the moon. By all availability, a star's bright gleam, determines a drug's therapeutic dream, in this Caribbean serenade, we sing, of drug action, like a feathered wing. Pharmacoepidemiology, the guardian's role, observing drug effects, to make us whole, in the harmony of island's gentle breeze, we find the answers, with utmost ease. Poem 3, Pharmacoepidemiology's quest Pharmacoepidemiology, the island's sage, in search of answers, in every age, through data's lens, we scrutinize, the drug's impact, under azure skies. In the West Indies sun-kissed land, we gather knowledge, hand in hand, with pharmacokinetics and dynamics grace, to ensure safety, in this sacred place. Epidemiological tides ebb and flow, revealing patterns, both high and low, in the Caribbean's embrace, we chart, a course for health, a science's heart. Poem 4, the dance of pharmacokinetics revisited pharmacokinetics, like ocean waves, in the West Indies, a dance it engraves, absorption's current, gentle and strong, in the body's currents, it journeys along. Distribution, a voyage across the sea, through vessels, it finds its destiny, metabolism, a pirate's treasure chest, in the liver's cove, secrets rest. Excretions journey, kidneys might, clearance, like stars in the night, in the Caribbean's rhythm, we find, pharmacokinetics, intertwined. Poem 5, Efficacy's Island in the heart of the West Indies, so fair, efficacy reigns, beyond compare. Potency's whispers in the trade winds blow, as drugs and receptors in harmony flow. By all availability, like the coral's hue, determines a drug's voyage, tried and true, in this island paradise, we witness the feat, of pharmacodynamics, oh, so sweet. Pharmacoepidemiology's watchful eye, in this haven, under the cerulean sky, tracks drug effects, like treasures untold, in efficacy's island, stories unfold. Poem 6, the dance of pharmacoepidemiology Pharmacoepidemiology's dance so rare, in the West Indies vibrant air, with data's rhythm, we sway and glide, tracking drug safety, with hearts open wide. In this tropical paradise, we stand, with pharmacokinetics, hand in hand, and pharmacodynamics, in harmony's embrace, we seek answers, with grace and grace. Epidemiological stars in the night, guide our quest for health, so bright, in the Caribbean's gentle breeze, pharmacoepidemiologists dance to please. Poem 7, the symphony of pharmacodynamics revisited pharmacodynamics, like steel drums beat, in the West Indies, a rhythm so sweet, efficacy's melody, in the island's air, with potency's harmony, beyond compare. By all availability, a song of the sea, determines a drug's fate, its decree, in this tropical serenade, we unite, 
Pharmacodynamics, a beacon of light. Pharmacoepidemiology, vigilant and true, observing drug effects, under skies so blue, in the symphony of Caribbean's night, we find answers, in the soft moonlight. Poem 8, the island of pharmacoepidemiology revisited pharmacoepidemiology, the island's grace, in the West Indies, in every place, through data's lens, we paint the scene, tracking drug safety, like a dream. In this tropical haven, we roam, with pharmacokinetics, our island home, and pharmacodynamics, in perfect blend, seeking answers, to health we tend. Epidemiological waves, a tranquil tide, reveal truths, with nothing to hide, in the Caribbean's tender sway, pharmacoepidemiology's wisdom lights the way. Poem 9, the dance of pharmacokinetics redux pharmacokinetics, like the ocean's flow, in the West Indies, we come to know, absorption's voyage, like a sailor's tale, in the body's currents, we set sail. Distribution's journey, a ship at sea, in vessels, it finds its destiny, metabolism's fire, a pirate's song, in the liver's haven, secrets belong. Excretions dance, kidneys might, clearance, like stars in the night, in the Caribbean's rhythm, so profound, pharmacokinetics, forever bound. Poem 10, Efficacy's serenade revisited in the heart of the West Indies land, efficacy reigns, hand in hand, potencies whispers in the warm breeze, drugs and receptors, with such ease. By all availability, a tale of the sea, determines drugs course, its decree, in this island paradise, we find, pharmacodynamics, intertwined. Pharmacoepidemiology's watchful gaze, in this tranquil place, where time sways, tracks drug effects, like treasures untold, in efficacy's serenade, stories unfold. Poem 11, the dance of pharmacoepidemiology redux pharmacoepidemiology's dance so bright, in the West Indies, in the day and night, with data's rhythm, we gently glide, tracking drug safety, with hearts open wide. In this tropical haven, hand in hand, with pharmacokinetics, we understand, and pharmacodynamics, in harmony's grace, we seek answers, with an island's embrace. Epidemiological stars above, guide our quest for truth and love, in the Caribbean's gentle breeze, pharmacoepidemiologists dance to please. Poem 12, a Caribbean ode to pharmacology in the West Indies embrace so warm, pharmacology's secrets we transform, pharmacokinetics, dynamics, and more, in this paradise, we do explore. Pharmacoepidemiology's watchful eye, beneath the Caribbean's endless sky, in this land where waters meet, pharmacology's mysteries are complete. In the rhythm of the island's grace, pharmacology's dance, we all embrace, in the West Indies, our hearts align, a symphony of science so divine pharmaceutical calculations one question, a medication is dosed at 50 mg forward slash kilogram. Calculate the dose for a child weighing 20 kilograms. Answer, 50 mg forward slash kilogram 20 kilograms equals 1000 milligrams. Explanation, this is a straightforward weight based dosing calculation. Question, how many ml of a 20% W forward slash V solution are needed to prepare 250 ml of a 5% solution? Answer, using the formula C1 V1 equals C2 V2, 20% V1 equals 5% 250 ml V1 equals 62.5 ml. Explanation. This question involves dilution of a concentrated solution to a specified concentration. Question: A patient requires a dose of 0.8 mg of drug X. Available is a 1 mg forward slash ml solution. How many ml should be administered? Answer: 0.8 mg divided by 1 mg forward slash ml equals 0.8 ml. Explanation. 
This is a basic dose calculation using concentration. Question. Convert a patient's weight of 150 pounds to kilograms. Answer. 150 lbs divided by 2.2 equals 68.18 kilograms. Explanation. The conversion factor between pounds and kilograms is 2.2 lbs forward slash kilogram. Question. A prescription requires 30 g of ointment at a 2% concentration. How much of the active ingredient is needed? Answer. 2% of 30 g equals 0.0230 g equals 0.6 g explanation. This is a percentage strength calculation for a topical preparation. Question. How many tablets containing 250 mg of drug Y should be given for a dose of 1 gram? Answer. 1 gram divided by 250 mg forward slash tablet equals 4 tablets. Explanation. This is a simple dose calculation involving tablet strength. Question. A prescription calls for 50 ml of 15% solution. How many grams of solute are needed? Answer. 15% of 50 ml equals 0.1550 equals 7.5 g explanation. This involves calculating the amount of solute in a given volume of solution. Question. If a patient drinks 2 liters of water per day, how many milliliters is this? Answer, 2 liters 1000 ml forward slash liter equals 2000 ml. Explanation, this is a simple volume conversion. Question, how many drops per minute should be set for in 4 infusion of 500 ml to be administered over 4 hours, if the drop factor is 15 drops forward slash ml? Answer, Total drops equals 500 ml 15 drops forward slash ml equals 7500 drops. Drops per minute equals 7500 drops divided by 240 minutes equals 31.25 almost equal to 31 drops forward slash minute. Explanation. This involves calculating the rate for in 4 infusion. Question. A 50 ml 4 infusion contains 100 mg of medication. What is the concentration of the medication in mg forward slash ml? Answer, 100 mg divided by 50 ml equals 2 mg forward slash ml. Explanation, this is a concentration calculation from a known amount of drug in a volume. Question, calculate the mill equivalents, emic of sodium in a liter of a solution containing 23 mg forward slash ml of sodium chloride, NaCl. Answer, sodium atomic weight equals 23, valence equals 1. Emic equals, mg valence, divided by atomic weight equals, 23 mg 1, divided by 23 equals 1 emic forward slash ml. 1 emic forward slash ml 1000 ml equals 1000 emic. Explanation. Mill equivalence calculation considers the atomic weight and valence of the ion. Question. What is the infusion rate in ml forward slash hour for a total parenteral nutrition, TPN, solution to be administered over 24 hours with a total volume of 2400 ml? Answer. 2400 ml divided by 24 hours equals 100 ml forward slash hour explanation. This is a calculation of infusion rate based on total volume and time. Question, if a medication has a half-life of 8 hours, how much of the drug remains after 24 hours? Answer, after 24 hours, 3 half-lives. Remaining drug equals 50% cubed equals 12.5%. Explanation. Each half-life reduces the amount of drug by half. Question. Calculate the osmolarity of a solution containing 5 grams of glucose, C6H1206, in 100 ml of solution. Answer. 
glucose has a molecular weight of 180.16 g forward slash mol. Moles of glucose equals 5 g divided by 180.16 g forward slash mol equals 0.02775 mol. Osmolarity equals moles forward slash L equals 0.02775 mol divided by 0.1 L equals 0.2775 osm forward slash L. Explanation Osmolarity is calculated based on the number of moles of solute per liter of solution. Question A prescription requires mixing two creams in a 1 colon 2 ratio. How much of each cream is needed to make 90 g of the final product? Answer Ratio total equals 1 plus 2 equals 3 parts. Cream 1 equals 1 third, 90 g equals 30 g. Cream 2 equals 2 thirds, 90 g equals 60 g. Explanation This is a ratio problem where the total weight is divided based on the given ratio. Two pharmaceutical principles and drug dosage forms question Define by availability and explain its importance in drug dosage forms. Answer by availability refers to the fraction of an administered dose of a drug that reaches the systemic circulation in its active form. It's important because it determines the dosage required to achieve therapeutic levels of the drug in the bloodstream. Question: What is the difference between hydrophilic and hydrophobic drugs in terms of formulation? Answer: Hydrophilic drugs dissolve easily in water and are formulated in aqueous solutions while hydrophobic drugs are not water-soluble and often require special formulations like emulsions or suspensions to improve their solubility. Question: Explain the concept of controlled drug release and its advantage. Answer: Controlled drug release involves formulations that release the drug at a predetermined rate, aiming to maintain a constant drug concentration in the bloodstream. This reduces the frequency of dosing and can improve patient adherence. Question: What is the role of excipients in tablet formulations? Answer: Excipients are inactive substances used in tablet formulations to aid in the manufacturing process and enhance the properties of the tablet, such as its stability, appearance, and ease of swallowing. Question: Describe the first pass effect and its significance in oral drug formulations. Answer: The first pass effect refers to the metabolism of a drug in the liver after oral administration and before it reaches systemic circulation. It can significantly reduce the bioavailability of some drugs, necessitating higher doses or alternative routes of administration. Question. How do pH levels in the stomach and intestines affect drug absorption? Answer: Drug absorption can be significantly affected by the pH levels in the gastrointestinal tract. For instance, acidic drugs are better absorbed in the stomach, low pH, while basic drugs are better absorbed in the intestines, higher pH. Question: What are prodrugs and why are they used? Answer: Prodrugs are inactive compounds that metabolize into active drugs in the body. They are used to improve bioavailability, reduce side effects, or target the drug to specific tissues. Question: Explain the significance of the dissolution rate in drug absorption. Answer: The dissolution rate is the speed at which a drug dissolves in the gastrointestinal fluid. It's crucial for absorption as only dissolved drug molecules can pass through the intestinal membrane into the bloodstream. Question: Differentiate between liposomes and microspheres as drug delivery systems. Answer: Liposomes are spherical vesicles with a lipid bilayer, used for targeted drug delivery, especially for hydrophobic drugs. Microspheres are solid spherical particles, often used for controlled release of the drug. Question: How does particle size affect the dissolution rate of drugs? Answer: Smaller particles have a larger surface area relative to their volume, 
leading to a faster dissolution rate and potentially more rapid drug absorption. Question, what is the purpose of enteric coating in tablet formulations? Answer, enteric coatings are used to protect drugs from the acidic environment of the stomach or to prevent the drug from causing stomach irritation. They dissolve in the less acidic environment of the intestines. Question, how are inhalation drugs designed to reach deep lung tissues? Answer, inhalation drugs are designed as fine particles or aerosols to ensure deep penetration into the lungs. The particle size must be small enough to pass through the upper respiratory tract but large enough to settle in the lungs. Question, explain the difference between ointments and creams. Answer, ointments are oil-based and do not contain water, providing a barrier that traps moisture. Creams are emulsions containing oil and water, which are less greasy and more easily absorbed. Question, what is the role of buffering agents in oral liquid formulations? Answer, buffering agents help to maintain a constant pH in the solution, which can be important for the stability and solubility of the drug. Question, describe the process of osmotic drug delivery. Answer, osmotic drug delivery utilizes a semi-permeable membrane to control the drug release rate. Water enters the device, dissolves the drug, and creates a pressure that pushes the drug solution out through a small orifice. Question, what factors influence the choice of a topical versus systemic drug delivery? Answer, the choice depends on the nature of the condition being treated, the desired action of the drug, the potential for systemic side effects, and the ability of the drug to penetrate the skin or mucosal membranes. Question, define transdermal drug delivery and its benefits. Answer, transdermal drug delivery involves the absorption of drugs through the skin into the systemic circulation. Benefits include avoiding first-pass metabolism, maintaining steady drug levels, and improving patient compliance. Question, explain the use of preservatives in ophthalmic preparations. Answer, preservatives prevent microbial contamination in multidose ophthalmic preparations, ensuring the safety and efficacy of the formulation over its use. Question. What is the importance of isotonicity in parenteral formulations? Answer, isotonicity ensures that the drug solution has the same osmotic pressure as body fluids, preventing irritation or damage to the surrounding tissues when administered. Question, describe the advantages of using a gel formulation for topical drugs. Answer, gels are easy to apply, can be easily spread over a large area and provide a cooling effect. They are also absorbed quickly and leave little to no residue. 3. Biopharmaceutics and Drug Delivery Systems What is biopharmaceutics? O oh answer. Biopharmaceutics is the study of how the physical and chemical properties of drugs, dosage forms, and routes of administration affect the rate and extent of drug absorption. O oh explanation. It explores how drug formulation and delivery influence drug action and bioavailability. Explain the first pass effect. O oh answer. The first pass effect refers to the initial metabolism of a drug within the liver after oral administration, which can significantly reduce the amount of active drug reaching systemic circulation. O oh explanation. This effect is crucial in determining the bioavailability of drugs. What are the main routes of drug administration? O oh answer, oral, intravenous, intramuscular, subcutaneous, inhalation, and topical. O oh explanation, these routes vary in terms of absorption speed, bioavailability, and patient convenience. How does particle size affect drug dissolution? O oh answer, smaller particle size can increase the surface area, enhancing the dissolution rate of drugs. O oh explanation, this is crucial for drugs that need to dissolve quickly for fast action. Define bioavailability. 
O answer. By all availability is the fraction of an administered dose of unchanged drug that reaches the systemic circulation. O explanation. It is a measure of the extent and rate of drug absorption. What is controlled drug delivery? O answer. Controlled drug delivery involves systems that release a drug at a predetermined rate for a specific period. O explanation. This technique helps maintain constant drug concentrations. Explain the difference between lipophilic and hydrophilic drugs. O answer. Lipophilic drugs dissolve in fats, while hydrophilic drugs dissolve in water. O explanation. This characteristic affects drug absorption and distribution. What are prodrugs? O answer. Prodrugs are inactive compounds that metabolize into active drugs in the body. O explanation. They are designed to improve bioavailability, reduce side effects, or target specific tissues. How does pH affect drug absorption? O answer. The absorption of ionizable drugs depends on the pH of the environment and the drug's pKa. O explanation. The ionization state can influence solubility and membrane permeability. What is an enteric coating? O answer. An enteric coating is a polymer barrier applied on oral medication that prevents its dissolution in the gastric environment. O explanation. This coating dissolves in the more basic environment of the intestines. Define pharmacokinetics. O answer. Pharmacokinetics is the study of how the body absorbs, distributes, metabolizes, and excretes drugs. O explanation. It helps in understanding and predicting drug actions and interactions. What role do excipients play in drug formulations? O answer, excipients are inactive substances used as carriers for the active ingredients of a medication. O explanation, they can affect the drug's stability, bioavailability, and patient acceptability. Explain the concept of a drug half-life. O answer, the half-life of a drug is the time taken for the plasma concentration of a drug to reduce to half its original value. O explanation, it's critical for determining dosing frequency. What is drug solubility, and why is it important? O answer, drug solubility is the ability of a drug to dissolve in a solvent, which is critical for its absorption and bioavailability. O explanation, poor solubility can lead to low drug effectiveness. How do emulsions improve drug delivery? O answer. Emulsions can enhance the absorption of lipophilic drugs by increasing their solubility in aqueous bodily fluids. O explanation, they are particularly useful for drugs with poor water solubility. What is the significance of drug polymorphism in drug delivery? O answer, drug polymorphism refers to the occurrence of different crystalline forms of the same drug molecule. O explanation. Different forms can have varying solubility and absorption rates. Describe the role of a drug's pKa. O answer, a drug's pKa is the pH at which the drug is 50% ionized, it influences solubility and absorption. O explanation, the pKa helps predict where and how well a drug will be absorbed. What are transdermal patches, and how do they work? O answer. Transdermal patches deliver drugs through the skin at a controlled rate to the bloodstream. O explanation, they offer a non-invasive route with steady drug levels. How do liposomes aid in drug delivery? O answer, liposomes are spherical vesicles that can encapsulate drugs, enhancing drug stability and targeting specific tissues. O explanation. They are especially useful for targeting drugs to specific cells. Explain the importance of drug stability. O answer. Drug stability refers to a drug's ability to maintain its identity, potency, and efficacy over time. O explanation. It is crucial for ensuring therapeutic effectiveness and patient safety. 
For extemporaneous prescription compounding question, what is the importance of particle size in extemporaneous compounding? Answer. Particle size can influence the rate of dissolution and absorption of the drug, affecting its efficacy and safety. Question. How does one ensure uniformity in a compounded suspension? Answer. Uniformity is ensured by thorough mixing to distribute particles evenly, often using a homogenizer or mortar and pestle. Question. What is the role of a levigating agent in ointment preparation? Answer. A levigating agent helps to reduce particle size and improve the texture and spreadability of the ointment. Question. Why is it important to consider the pH of a compounded preparation? Answer. pH can affect the solubility, stability, and absorption of the drug, as well as patient comfort, especially in topical preparations. Question. How do you ensure the stability of a compounded product? Answer. Stability can be ensured by proper ingredient selection, avoiding incompatible mixtures, and storing the product under appropriate conditions. Question. What factors influence the choice of a base in compounding a cream or ointment? Answer. Factors include the drug's solubility, the desired release rate, and patient skin type. Question. Why is geometric dilution important in powder mixing? Answer. It ensures even distribution of a small amount of potent drug throughout the bulk of the powder. Question. How do you minimize microbial contamination in non-sterile compounding? Answer. Use aseptic techniques, clean equipment, and preservatives where necessary. Question. What is the purpose of a beyond-use date, bud, in compounded formulations? Answer. It indicates the date after which a compounded preparation is not expected to retain its stability and efficacy. Question. What are the considerations for choosing a capsule size in compounding? Answer. Consider the total volume of the compounded mixture and the ease of swallowing for the patient. Question. How do you determine the appropriate vehicle for a liquid oral compounded medication? Answer. Consider the drug's solubility, stability, palatability, and patient preferences. Question. What is the significance of compounding in a controlled environment? Answer. It prevents contamination and ensures the accuracy and consistency of the compounded product. Question. Why are antioxidants sometimes added to compounded formulations? Answer. They prevent oxidative degradation of the active ingredients, enhancing the product's stability. Question. How is the concentration of an active ingredient adjusted in a pediatric compounded formulation? Answer. Doses are calculated based on the child's weight or body surface area to ensure safety and efficacy. Question. What is the importance of using a filter when preparing injections? Answer. It removes particulate matter, reducing the risk of embolism or phlebitis. Question. Why is accurate weighing crucial in compounding? Answer. It ensures the correct dosage of active ingredients, crucial for the safety and efficacy of the medication. Question. How do you manage the risk of cross-contamination in compounding? Answer. By using dedicated equipment for different drugs or thoroughly cleaning between preparations. Question. What considerations should be made when selecting a container for a compounded medication? Answer. Consider the medication's light sensitivity, chemical stability, and the method of administration. Question. How do you ensure the accuracy of a liquid medication dose? Answer. Use calibrated measuring devices and provide clear instructions for use. Question. What is the significance of conducting a stability study on a compounded formulation? Answer. It determines the formulation's shelf life and appropriate storage conditions. Title. The Pharmacist's Dilemma Act 1. The Pharmacy Scene 1. The Pharmacy Counter Characters. 
Dr. Sarah, a dedicated pharmacist Emily, a worried mother John, Emily's five-year-old son other customers setting, a busy pharmacy with shelves of medications and a counter where Dr. Sarah stands. Narrator, offstage in a bustling pharmacy, Dr. Sarah, a skilled pharmacist, juggles various prescription orders. Scene 2, Emily's concern, Emily rushes into the pharmacy, holding John's hand, Emily, frantic, Dr. Sarah, I need your help. My son, John, has fallen ill. Dr. Sarah, calmly, Emily, please take a deep breath. I'm here to help. What seems to be the problem? Emily, worried, John has a high fever, and the doctor prescribed a medication for him. But I'm not sure how much to give him. Dr. Sarah, reassuringly, don't worry, Emily. We can calculate the correct dosage together. Let me see the prescription. Emily hands over the prescription, scene 3, pharmaceutical calculations, using a notepad. Dr. Sarah performs calculations similar to those in your text, Dr. Sarah, explaining, all right, let's see. John weighs 20 kilograms, and the medication is dosed at 50 mg forward slash kilogram. So, we calculate 50 mg forward slash kilogram 20 kilograms equals 1000 milligrams. Emily, relieved, thank you, Dr. Sarah. But how do I give him the right amount? The medication comes in a liquid form. Dr. Sarah, informing, no problem, Emily. We'll calculate the volume needed. The medication concentration is 1 mg forward slash ml, so we divide 1000 mg by 1 mg forward slash ml, which gives us 1000 ml. Emily, confused, that's a lot. How do I measure that? Dr. Sarah, advising, don't worry. We can give him the medication in smaller doses. Let's break it down. John needs 1000 ml, and we can give him, say, 10 ml at a time. Emily nods in understanding, scene 4, helping other customers. Dr. Sarah assists other customers while Emily waits, customer 1, asking, Excuse me, can you explain my prescription to me? Dr. Sarah, politely, of course, let me take a look. As Dr. Sarah helps other customers, she continues to perform calculations and provide explanations, demonstrating her expertise in pharmaceutical calculations. Act 2, behind the counter scene 1, the compounding dilemma, another pharmacist, Alex, approaches Dr. Sarah, Alex, concerned, Sarah, we have an urgent compounding request for a customized pediatric medication. The patient has specific allergies. Dr. Sarah, focused, let's gather the ingredients and calculate the right dosage. Scene depicts the meticulous process of compounding, considering factors like particle size, pH, and stability. Dr. Sarah and Alex work together to ensure the final product is safe and effective. Act 3, Closing Time Scene 1, Wrapping Up The pharmacy is now quiet, with only Dr. Sarah and Emily remaining. Dr. Sarah, handing over medication, here you go, Emily. The medication is ready. Remember to administer 10 ml every time as we discussed. Emily, grateful. Thank you so much, Dr. Sarah. Your expertise has been a lifesaver today. Dr. Sarah, smiling, you're very welcome, Emily. Always here to help. If you have any more questions, don't hesitate to ask. Scene ends with Emily leaving the pharmacy, and Dr. Sarah finishing her day with a sense of fulfillment in helping others with her pharmaceutical knowledge. 5. Basic Pharmacokinetics What is pharmacokinetics? O. Answer. The study of how the body absorbs, distributes, metabolizes, and excretes drugs. O. Explanation. 
Pharmacokinetics involves understanding the time course of drug levels in the body and their relationship with pharmacologic response. Define by availability. O answer, the proportion of a drug that enters the systemic circulation when introduced into the body. O explanation, by availability is crucial in determining doses for non-intravenous routes of administration. What is the first pass effect? O answer, the initial metabolism in the liver of a drug absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract before the drug reaches systemic circulation. O explanation, this effect reduces the bioavailability of the drug. Differentiate between a drug's efficacy and potency. O answer, efficacy is the maximum effect a drug can produce, while potency is the amount of drug needed to produce a specific effect. O explanation, potency is influenced by both the affinity of the drug for its receptor and its efficiency in producing a response. What is the volume of distribution? O answer, a theoretical volume that would be necessary to contain the total amount of an administered drug at the same concentration as it is observed in the blood plasma. O explanation, it's a measure of how extensively a drug is distributed throughout the body's tissues. Explain half-life of a drug. O answer, the time required for the concentration of the drug in the plasma to reduce by half. O explanation, it's important in determining dosing intervals and steady-state concentrations. What is steady-state concentration? O answer, the point at which the drug's intake equals its elimination, resulting in a constant plasma concentration. O explanation, it typically takes about 4 to 5 half lives to reach steady state. Define clearance in pharmacokinetics. O answer, the rate at which a drug is removed from the body. O explanation, clearance affects both the duration and intensity of a drug's effect. What is the therapeutic index? O answer, a ratio that compares the blood concentration at which a drug becomes toxic and the concentration at which the drug is effective. O explanation, a higher therapeutic index indicates a safer drug. Explain C underscore max in pharmacokinetics. O answer. The maximum serum concentration that a drug achieves in a specified compartment after the drug administration. O explanation, C underscore max is used to evaluate the peak level of a drug in the body. What factors influence drug absorption? O answer, factors include drug formulation, route of administration, blood flow to the absorption site, and gastrointestinal physiology. O explanation, these factors can significantly affect the rate and extent of absorption. How does protein binding affect drug distribution? O answer, drugs bound to plasma proteins are generally not available for distribution to their site of action or metabolism. O explanation, only the free, unbound fraction of a drug is pharmacologically active. What is the significance of the area under the curve, AUC, in pharmacokinetics? O answer, it represents the total exposure of the body to the drug over time. O explanation, AUC is used to determine bioequivalence between two formulations. How does renal impairment affect drug clearance? O answer, it can decrease the clearance of drugs eliminated by the kidneys necessitating dose adjustment. O explanation, impaired renal function can lead to increased drug toxicity. Define the term prodrug. O answer, a compound that is metabolically converted in the body into the active pharmacological agent. O explanation, prodrugs are used to improve properties like solubility, absorption, and distribution. What is the role of cytochrome P450 enzymes in drug metabolism? O answer, they are responsible for the oxidation and breakdown of many drugs. O explanation, variations in P450 enzyme activity can influence a drug's effectiveness and risk of side effects. 
Explain the concept of drug tolerance. O answer, a reduced response to a drug after repeated use over time. O explanation, tolerance can lead to the need for increased dosages to achieve the same effect. What is a dose response curve? O answer, a graph showing the relationship between drug dose and the magnitude of the drug's effect. O explanation, it helps in understanding the drug's efficacy and potency. How does pH affect drug absorption? O answer, the absorption of weak acids and bases is influenced by the pH of the environment. O explanation, the ionization state of a drug can affect its ability to cross cell membranes. What is bioequivalence? O answer, when two drugs have similar bioavailability and the same concentration time curve. O explanation, it is important in the approval process for generic drugs. 6. Bioavailability and bioequivalence What is bioavailability? Answer. Bioavailability refers to the proportion of a drug that enters the systemic circulation when introduced into the body and is thus able to have an active effect. How is bioequivalence determined between two drug products? Answer. Bioequivalence is determined by comparing the bioavailability of a generic drug to that of a brand name drug. If both drugs deliver the same amount of the active ingredient to the bloodstream in the same amount of time, they are considered bioequivalent. Why is bioequivalence testing important in pharmacology? Answer: It ensures that a generic drug shows similar therapeutic effectiveness and safety profile as the branded drug, ensuring consistency in patient treatment. What are the key parameters measured in bioavailability studies? Answer: The key parameters are the peak concentration (Cmix) and the time it takes to reach peak concentration (Mix) along with the area under the curve (AUC) which represents the drug's total exposure. Can two drugs have the same bioavailability but different bioequivalence? Answer: No. If two drugs have the same bioavailability, they are also bioequivalent, as they provide the same drug concentration in the blood over time. What role does the FDA play in bioequivalence testing? Answer: The FDA sets the guidelines and standards for bioequivalence testing, ensuring that generic drugs meet these criteria before they are approved for market. How do food effects influence bioavailability? Answer: Food can alter the absorption of a drug, either by delaying, decreasing, or, in some cases, increasing the bioavailability of the drug. What is the difference between absolute and relative bioavailability? Answer: Absolute bioavailability compares the bioavailability of a drug in systemic circulation to its bioavailability after intravenous administration, while relative bioavailability compares the bioavailability of a drug in systemic circulation under different conditions. What is the first pass effect in drug metabolism? Answer: the first pass effect is the process whereby a drug's concentration is greatly reduced before it reaches systemic circulation, usually due to metabolism in the liver. How does the route of administration affect bioavailability? Answer: Different routes of administration, oral, intravenous, subcutaneous, etc., affect the rate and extent of absorption, thus impacting bioavailability. What factors can influence a drug's bioavailability? Answer: Factors include drug formulation, gastric emptying rate, intestinal transit time, drug interaction, and the presence of food in the stomach. Why are controlled release formulations challenging in terms of bioavailability? Answer: Controlled release formulations are designed to release the drug slowly over time which can make it difficult to predict and consistently achieve desired bioavailability levels. What are the implications of poor bioavailability in drug design? Answer: Poor bioavailability can lead to reduced efficacy of the drug and may require higher doses to achieve therapeutic levels. 
potentially increasing the risk of side effects. Can a drug's bioavailability change over time in the same patient? Answer, yes, factors like age, liver function, kidney function, and changes in metabolism can affect a drug's bioavailability over time in a patient. How do pharmacokinetic properties relate to bioavailability? Answer, pharmacokinetic properties, like absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion, determine the drug's concentration in the blood and tissues, directly impacting its bioavailability. Why is it important to consider bioavailability when switching from for to oral administration? Answer, because oral medications often have lower bioavailability due to the first pass effect, adjusting the dosage when switching from for to oral administration is crucial for maintaining therapeutic effectiveness. Can bioavailability vary between different generic versions of the same drug? Answer, yes. While generics are required to be bioequivalent to brand name drugs, there can be variability in bioavailability between different generic versions. What is a bioavailability curve and what information does it provide? Answer: A bioavailability curve plots blood concentration of a drug over time, providing information on the rate and extent of absorption. How is bioavailability linked to a drug's half-life? Answer: Bioavailability affects the initial concentration of the drug in the blood, which in turn influences the drug's half-life, or the time it takes for its blood concentration to decrease by half. What is the impact of bioavailability on dose-response relationships? Answer: Variations in bioavailability can lead to differences in the dose-response relationship affecting the therapeutic outcome and potential for side effects. 7. Biotechnology drug products What is the primary mechanism of action of monoclonal antibodies? O answer, monoclonal antibodies primarily work by specifically binding to antigens, often found on the surface of cells, thereby targeting those cells for immune-mediated destruction or blocking specific pathways important for disease progression. O explanation. This specificity towards antigens allows for targeted therapy, reducing the impact on healthy cells compared to traditional chemotherapies. How are biologic drugs typically administered? O answer. Biologic drugs are commonly administered intravenously or subcutaneously due to their large molecular size and susceptibility to digestive enzymes if taken orally. O explanation. The routes of administration bypass the gastrointestinal tract to ensure the drug reaches the systemic circulation intact. What distinguishes biologics from traditional small molecule drugs? O answer. Biologics are large, complex molecules, often proteins, made using living cells, whereas traditional small molecule drugs are chemically synthesized and are much smaller and simpler in structure. O explanation. The complexity and production method of biologics result in unique challenges in manufacturing, handling, and administration. Why is biosimilarity important in biologic drugs? O answer. Biosimilarity ensures that a biosimilar product is highly similar to the reference biologic drug, with no clinically meaningful differences in safety, purity, and potency. O explanation. This concept is crucial for the approval of biosimilars, providing more treatment options and potentially reducing healthcare costs. What is the role of recombinant DNA technology in biotechnology drug products? O answer. Recombinant DNA technology is used to insert DNA encoding a specific protein into host cells, which then produce the protein for therapeutic use. O explanation. This technology is fundamental in producing biologics like insulin, growth factors, and monoclonal antibodies. How do enzyme replacement therapies work? O answer. Enzyme replacement therapies work by replacing a deficient or dysfunctional enzyme in patients, 
often for treating certain genetic disorders. O oh, explanation. These therapies address the underlying cause of enzyme deficiencies, improving symptoms and quality of life. What is the significance of glycosylation in biologics? O oh, answer, glycosylation, the attachment of sugar molecules to proteins, can affect a biologic stability, efficacy, and immunogenicity. O oh, explanation. Precise control of glycosylation is critical in biologic drug production to ensure consistent drug performance and reduce adverse immune responses. What are the common side effects associated with monoclonal antibody therapies? O oh answer, common side effects include infusion reactions, allergic reactions, increased risk of infections, and potential for immunogenicity. O oh explanation. These side effects stem from the immune system's response to these large, foreign protein molecules. How is gene therapy used in medicine? O oh answer, gene therapy treats or prevents disease by modifying the genetic information within a patient's cells, either replacing, inactivating, or introducing a new gene. O oh explanation, it is a cutting-edge approach that addresses diseases at their genetic root. What are the challenges in developing vaccines using biotechnology? O oh, answer, challenges include ensuring efficacy and safety, maintaining stability, cold chain requirements, and addressing varying immune responses in populations. O oh, explanation, vaccine development must balance immunogenicity with safety and consider logistical aspects of distribution and storage. What is the role of pharmacogenomics in biologic drug therapy? O oh, answer, pharmacogenomics studies how a person's genetic makeup affects their response to drugs, including biologics, to personalize therapy for better outcomes and fewer side effects. O oh, explanation, this approach is particularly relevant for biologics due to their complex interactions with the immune system. Why are biologics generally more expensive than traditional drugs? O oh, answer, biologics are more expensive due to complex manufacturing processes, stringent quality control, and the need for extensive research and clinical trials. O oh, explanation, the high costs are also driven by the specialized nature of their usage and the challenges in creating biosimilars. What is the role of monoclonal antibodies in cancer treatment? O oh, answer, monoclonal antibodies in cancer treatment target specific antigens on cancer cells, flagging them for immune destruction, blocking growth signals, or delivering cytotoxic agents. O oh, explanation, their targeted approach allows for more precise cancer therapy with potentially fewer side effects compared to conventional chemotherapy. How do fusion proteins in biologic drugs function? O oh, answer, fusion proteins are created by fusing parts of two different proteins, often combining a receptor domain with an immunoglobulin framework, to create a therapeutic agent with a specific function. O oh, explanation, this design can enhance stability, prolong half-life, or create a novel therapeutic mechanism. What are the regulatory considerations for biosimilar approval? O oh, answer, biosimilars must demonstrate similarity to the reference product in terms of safety, efficacy, and quality, but they do not require identical clinical trials as the original biologic. O oh, explanation, the approval process focuses on analytical and pharmacokinetic forward slash pharmacodynamic studies with less emphasis on large-scale clinical trials. How is CRISPR technology utilized in biologic drug development? O oh, answer, CRISPR technology is used for precise gene editing, allowing for the development of targeted gene therapies and the modification of cells for therapeutic use. O oh, explanation, CRISPR's precision and versatility make it a powerful tool in developing new treatments for genetic disorders and other diseases. What are the considerations for storage and handling of biologic drugs? 
O answer. Biologics often require refrigeration, protection from light, and careful handling to maintain stability and efficacy, as they are sensitive to temperature and physical stress. O explanation. Proper storage and handling are crucial to ensure the therapeutic integrity of these sensitive drugs. What is the role of biologic drugs in autoimmune diseases? O answer. Biologic drugs in autoimmune diseases typically target specific components of the immune system to reduce inflammation and halt disease progression. O explanation. They offer targeted therapy by interfering with cytokines, cell surface proteins, or specific immune cells. How do chimeric antigen receptor CAR, T cell therapies work? O answer. CAR T-cell therapy involves genetically modifying a patient's cells to express a specific antigen receptor, allowing them to better target and destroy cancer cells. O explanation. This personalized approach harnesses the patient's own immune system to fight cancer. What are the implications of immunogenicity in biologic drug therapy? O answer. Immunogenicity can lead to reduced efficacy, allergic reactions, and adverse immune responses, impacting the safety and effectiveness of biologic therapies. O explanation. Monitoring and managing immunogenicity is crucial for the safe use of biologics, as the immune system can develop antibodies against these large, complex molecules. 8. Drug Metabolism, Prodrugs and pharmacogenetics what is drug metabolism and why is it important in pharmacotherapy O answer drug metabolism is the biochemical modification of pharmaceutical substances by living organisms usually through specialized enzymatic systems it's essential because it affects the drugs pharmacological activity duration and toxicity how do prodrugs differ from active drugs O answer. Prodrugs are inactive compounds that undergo metabolic conversion in the body to release the active drug. They are designed to improve solubility, absorption, distribution, and elimination characteristics of drugs. What role does CYP450 play in drug metabolism? O answer. CYP450, cytochrome P450, enzymes are critical in drug metabolism responsible for the oxidation of many drugs, leading to their inactivation and elimination. Explain the concept of first-pass metabolism. O answer, first-pass metabolism refers to the initial metabolism of a drug through the liver after oral administration, before it reaches systemic circulation, often reducing the bioavailability of the drug. What are phase I and phase II reactions in drug metabolism? O answer, phase I reactions, like oxidation, reduction, hydrolysis, modify the drug molecule by adding or uncovering functional groups. Phase II reactions, like conjugation, increase drug water solubility for excretion. What is pharmacogenetics, and how does it impact drug therapy? O answer. Pharmacogenetics studies how genetic variation affects individual responses to drugs. It helps personalize drug therapy for better efficacy and reduced toxicity. Why are some individuals termed slow metabolizers? O answer, slow metabolizers have genetic variations that reduce the activity of certain drug metabolizing enzymes leading to slower drug clearance and potentially increased drug effects or toxicity. How does enzyme induction affect drug metabolism? O answer, enzyme induction speeds up drug metabolism, potentially decreasing drug efficacy by increasing its elimination rate. What is the relevance of enzyme inhibition in drug interactions? O answer, enzyme inhibition can slow down the metabolism of a drug, leading to increased drug levels and potential toxicity. Can genetic testing predict drug responses? O answer, yes, genetic testing can identify variations in drug metabolizing enzymes, transporters, and receptors, 
helping predict drug responses and guide therapy choices. What are the risks associated with prodrug activation in specific populations? O answer, variations in metabolic enzymes can lead to insufficient activation of prodrugs in some individuals, reducing drug efficacy, or overly rapid activation, increasing toxicity risk. How do genetic differences influence warfarin dosing? O answer. Genetic differences in VCAC1 and CYP2C9 can affect warfarin metabolism and sensitivity, requiring dose adjustments for effective and safe anticoagulation. Explain therapeutic window in the context of drug metabolism. O answer. The therapeutic window is the range of drug concentrations where the drug is effective without causing harmful effects. Metabolic rates can shift this window, affecting drug safety and efficacy. Why are liver function tests important in patients on long-term medication? O answer, liver function tests assess liver health, which is crucial for drug metabolism. Impaired liver function can alter drug metabolism and increase the risk of toxicity. How does renal function affect drug metabolism? O answer, while the liver primarily metabolizes drugs, renal function affects the elimination of drugs and their metabolites. Impaired kidney function can lead to drug accumulation and toxicity. What factors can influence individual variations in drug metabolism? O answer, factors include genetics, age, diet, disease state, and concurrent use of other drugs, drug-drug interactions. Describe a scenario where prodrug administration is advantageous. O answer, prodrugs are useful in targeting specific tissues, reducing systemic toxicity, or improving drug solubility and absorption. How does age affect drug metabolism? O answer, in elderly patients, decreased metabolic rates and liver enzyme activity can slow drug clearance, requiring dose adjustments. What is the role of P-glycoprotein in drug metabolism? O answer, P-glycoprotein, a drug transporter protein, affects the absorption, distribution, and excretion of many drugs, impacting their efficacy and toxicity. Can environmental factors alter drug metabolism? O answer, yes, factors like smoking, alcohol consumption, and dietary components can induce or inhibit drug metabolizing enzymes, affecting drug levels in the body. Title, The Alchemist's Dilemma, A Tale of Pharmacokinetics and Biotechnology Acti, The Mysterious Elixir Scene 1, The Alchemist's Laboratory, Enter DR. Philip, a wise alchemist, and his apprentice, Alice. Dr. Philip, in this laboratory, where secrets lie, we delve into realms where potions mystify. With vials and flasks, our quest unfolds, to understand drugs, their stories yet untold. Alice, master, I yearn to learn the secrets deep, of potions and elixirs that heal or make us weep. What knowledge, pray tell, must I attain to grasp the truths of alchemical terrain? Dear Philip, listen well, dear Alice, and you shall see the principles of pharmacy and biochemistry. Pharmacokinetics, our path to explore the journey of drugs in the body's core. Scene 2, the study of pharmacokinetics, dear Philip and Alice engage in dialogue. Dot. Dr. Philip, Pharmacokinetics, the study profound, of drugs voyage through tissues, I expound. Absorption, distribution, metabolism, excretion, these are the processes of drug selection. Alice, bioavailability, a concept quite key, proportion of a drug that sets us free. The first pass effect, liver's gatekeeper stern, reduces bioavailability, a lesson to discern. Scene 3, Efficacy and Potency, DR. Philip illustrates with various potions. DR. Philip, 
efficacy, the peak of a drug's might, the maximum effect, it shines so bright. Potency, the dose, in amounts we measure, both factors combined, determine our treasure. Alice, affinity and efficiency, the potion's heart, influencing potency from the very start. Understanding this interplay of essence, shapes the alchemy of pharmacologic presence. Act 2, The Quest for Steady State Scene 1, The Volume of Distribution, DR. Philip draws diagrams on a chalkboard dot. DR. Philip, the volume of distribution, a measure so rare, imaginary vessel that contains the drug's fair. The concentration in plasma and tissue, determines the spread, oh so true. Alice, half-life, the ticking of time's grand clock, the drug's plasma concentration it shall unlock. Steady state, a point of balance serene, where intake meets elimination's routine. Scene 2, Clearance and Therapeutic Index, DR. Philip demonstrates with beakers and tubes. Dot. DR. Philip, Clearance, the rate of drugs exit clear, affects intensity and duration, I fear. Therapeutic Index, a ratio's embrace, safety's measure in this complex chase. Alice, C underscore Max, the peak concentrations call, evaluates a drug's rise and fall. Factors, a plenty, in absorption's game, blood flow, formulation, and physiology's name. Act 3. The Secrets of Drug Absorption Scene 1, The Influence of pH, DR. Philip discusses absorption with a map of the body. Dot. DR. Philip, absorption secrets, a treasure to seek, pH affects how drugs will speak. For acids and bases, the ions fate, crossing cell membranes, they navigate. Alice, bioequivalence, a state to treasure when generic and brand, we measure. For approval, in regulatory light, AUC and C underscore max, must be right. Scene 2, the role of renal impairment, DR. Philip pours liquids into two containers. Dot. DR. Philip, renal impairment, a challenge profound, decreases drug clearance, I expound. Dose adjustments needed, in this situation, to prevent drug toxicity, our obligation. Act 4, The Mysteries of Prodrugs and Enzymes Scene 1, The Definition of Prodrugs, DR. Philip reveals a hidden elixir. Dot. DR. Philip, Prodrugs, my dear, hold secrets untold, inactive compounds, their story to unfold. Metabolically converted, their destiny grand to enhance solubility and spread across the land. Alice, Cytochrome P450, enzymes of might, break down drugs, from morning till night. Variations, a twist in the tail, affecting drug effectiveness, we must prevail. Scene 2, Unveiling Drug Tolerance, DR. Philip and Alice ponder a puzzle. Dot. DR. Philip, drug tolerance, a phenomenon rare, reduced response to drugs, it's only fair. Repeating doses, the need to increase, to achieve the same effect, without release. Alice, dose response curves, a graph's embrace, to understand efficacy and potency's place. The magnitude of effect, dose in hand, reveals the alchemy, so grand. Act V, The Alchemist's Wisdom Scene 1. The final revelation, DR. Philip imparts his wisdom to Alice. Dot. DR. Philip, the journey through pharmacokinetics law and biotechnology's innovations galore, reveals the mysteries of drugs creation in this alchemical world, our dedication. Alice, the secrets of potions, both old and new, the principles of science we have pursued. In pharmacy and biotech's grand scheme, we've unlocked the knowledge of our dream. Curtain closes, 
End of play. 9. Pharmacology and medicinal chemistry of drugs affecting the nervous system What are the primary neurotransmitters involved in the central nervous system, CNS? O answer. Key neurotransmitters in the CNS include glutamate, gamma-monobutyric acid, GABA, dopamine, serotonin, and acetylcholine. How do SSIs, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, work? O answer, SSIs block the reuptake of serotonin into the presynaptic neuron, increasing serotonin availability in the synaptic cleft, which helps alleviate symptoms of depression. What is the mechanism of action of benzodiazepines? O answer, benzodiazepines enhance the effect of GABA, a major inhibitory neurotransmitter, by increasing GABA's affinity for the GABA-A receptor leading to CNS depression. Explain the pharmacological action of antipsychotic drugs. O answer, antipsychotics primarily block dopamine D2 receptors in the brain, which is thought to reduce psychotic symptoms such as hallucinations and delusions. What role do NMDA receptors play in neurological function? O answer, NMDA receptors a subtype of glutamate receptors, are involved in synaptic plasticity, memory formation, and learning. How do tricyclic antidepressants, TCAs, work? O answer, TCAs inhibit the reuptake of norepinephrine and serotonin, increasing their levels in the brain and improving mood. What is the mechanism of action of mood stabilizers like lithium? O answer, lithium's exact mechanism is unclear but it's thought to affect several neurotransmitter systems and second messenger systems, stabilizing mood in bipolar disorder. Describe the action of acetylcholine esterase inhibitors. O answer, these inhibitors block the breakdown of acetylcholine, increasing its concentration and prolonging its action, particularly used in Alzheimer's disease. How do opioid analgesics alleviate pain? O answer, opioids bind to opioid receptors in the CNS and peripheral nervous system, inhibiting the transmission of pain signals. What is the role of dopamine in Parkinson's disease? O answer, in Parkinson's, there is a deficiency of dopamine in the brain, leading to motor symptoms. Dopamine replacement therapy helps alleviate these symptoms. Explain how GABRergic drugs work in the CNS. O answer, GABRergic drugs enhance the action of GABA, leading to decreased neuronal excitability, and are used in conditions like epilepsy and anxiety. What is the significance of monomine oxidase inhibitors, MAOIs? O answer, MAOIs inhibit monomine oxidase, preventing the breakdown of neurotransmitters like norepinephrine, dopamine, and serotonin, used in depression. How do calcium channel blockers function in neurological disorders? O answer, in the CNS, these blockers reduce the influx of calcium ions, which can modulate neurotransmitter release and neuronal excitability. Describe the action of amphetamines on the nervous system. O answer, amphetamines increase the release of norepinephrine and dopamine while also inhibiting their reuptake, leading to increased alertness and focus. What is the therapeutic action of antipileptic drugs? O answer, antipileptics can enhance GABA activity, inhibit sodium or calcium channels or modulate glutamate receptors to reduce seizure activity. How does the mechanism of barbiturates differ from benzodiazepines? O answer, barbiturates enhance GABA activity but can also directly activate GABA-A receptors at high doses, unlike benzodiazepines which only modulate GABA's effects. What is the mechanism of action of atypical antipsychotics? O answer, atypical antipsychotics block both dopamine and serotonin receptors, offering advantages in side effect profiles over typical antipsychotics. Explain the action of blockers in anxiety. O answer,
blockers block the effects of adrenaline on the body, reducing physical symptoms of anxiety like rapid heartbeat. How do muscle relaxants like baclofen work? Oh answer, baclofen acts on GABA B receptors in the spinal cord, reducing muscle spasm and rigidity. What is the role of alpha-2 agonists in CNS disorders? O answer, alpha-2 agonists decrease sympathetic outflow from the CNS, used in conditions like hypertension, ADHD, and certain types of pain. 10 Pharmacology and Medicinal Chemistry of Cardiovascular and Diuretic Drugs What is the mechanism of action of ACE inhibitors in treating hypertension? O answer, ACE inhibitors block the conversion of angiotensin I to angiotensin II, a potent vasoconstrictor, thereby reducing blood pressure. How do beta blockers work in managing heart failure? O answer, beta blockers decrease heart rate and contractility, reducing myocardial oxygen demand and improving cardiac output. What is the primary action of diuretics in hypertension? O answer, diuretics decrease plasma and extracellular fluid volumes, lowering blood pressure. Explain the role of calcium channel blockers in angina. O answer, they dilate coronary arteries and reduce heart rate, decreasing myocardial oxygen demand. How does digoxin work in atrial fibrillation? O answer, digoxin slows AV node conduction and increases vagal tone controlling heart rate in atrial fibrillation. What are the pharmacological effects of nitrates in angina pectoris? O answer, nitrates cause vasodilation, which decreases myocardial oxygen consumption and relieves angina. Describe the mechanism of action of statins in hyperlipidemia. O answer, statins inhibit HMG co-reductus, reducing cholesterol synthesis in the liver. How do thiazide diuretics lower blood pressure? O answer, they inhibit sodium and chloride reabsorption in the distal convoluted tubule, reducing blood volume. What is the role of aldosterone antagonists in heart failure? O answer, they block aldosterone receptors, reducing sodium and water retention and decreasing myocardial fibrosis. Explain the mechanism of action of direct renin inhibitors. O answer, they inhibit renin, thereby reducing the conversion of angiotensinogen to angiotensin I, leading to lower blood pressure. How do loop diuretics differ from thiazide diuretics in action? O answer, loop diuretics inhibit the NA and forward slash K and forward slash 2CL co-transporter in the thick ascending limb of the loop of Henle, causing more diuresis than theazids. What are the cardiovascular benefits of omega-3 fatty acids? O answer, they reduce triglycerides and may have anti-inflammatory and antiarrhythmic effects. How do anticoagulants like warfarin work in preventing thrombosis? O answer, warfarin inhibits vitamin K-dependent clotting factors, reducing blood clot formation. What is the therapeutic use of antiplatelet drugs like aspirin in cardiovascular disease? O answer, they inhibit platelet aggregation, preventing arterial thrombus formation. Describe the pharmacological action of vasodilators in heart failure. O answer, vasodilators decrease preload and afterload on the heart, improving cardiac output. How do potassium sparing diuretics work, and what is their benefit in heart failure? O answer, they interfere with sodium reabsorption in the distal tubule, sparing potassium, they are beneficial in preventing hypokalemia in heart failure. What is the role of fibrates in dyslipidemia? O answer, fibrates primarily decrease triglyceride levels by activating PPA-alpha and increasing lipoprotein lipase activity. How does nitroglycerin relieve anginal pain? O answer, it causes venodilation, reducing preload and myocardial oxygen demand. 
What is the mechanism of action of sodium glucose co-transporter 2, SGLT2, inhibitors in diabetes and heart failure? O oh answer, they inhibit glucose reabsorption in the kidneys, also leading to diuresis and reduced preload in heart failure. Explain the pharmacodynamics of hydrolazin in hypertension. O oh answer, hydrolazin is a direct arterial vasodilator, reducing systemic vascular resistance and arterial blood pressure. 11. Pharmacology and medicinal chemistry of autocoids, nesteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, and antihistamines. What are autocoids, and how do they function in the body? O oh answer, autocoids are biologically active substances like histamine, serotonin, and prostaglandins that are released by cells and have local tissue-specific actions. They play roles in inflammation, allergy, and other physiological processes. What is the mechanism of action of NSAIDs? O oh answer, NSAIDs inhibit the cyclooxygenase, COX, enzymes. COX-1 and COX-2, which are involved in the synthesis of prostaglandins and thromboxins, thus reducing inflammation, pain, and fever. How do selective COX-2 inhibitors differ from non-selective NSAIDs? O oh answer, selective COX-2 inhibitors specifically inhibit the COX-2 enzyme, which is primarily involved in inflammatory responses. Non-selective NSAIDs inhibit both COX-1 and COX-2, affecting both inflammation and gastric mucosal protection. What are the common side effects of NSAIDs? O oh answer, common side effects include gastrointestinal irritation or bleeding, renal impairment, and an increased risk of cardiovascular events in long-term use. Explain the role of histamine in allergic reactions. O oh answer, histamine, released by mast cells and basophils, contributes to allergic reactions by causing vasodilation, increased vascular permeability, and smooth muscle contraction, leading to symptoms like itching, swelling, and redness. How do antihistamines work? O oh answer, antihistamines block the action of histamine at its receptors, H1 or H2 receptors thus alleviating symptoms caused by histamine release, such as in allergies. What is the difference between first-generation and second-generation antihistamines? O oh answer, first-generation antihistamines often cause drowsiness and have anticholinergic effects. Second-generation antihistamines are less likely to cross the blood-brain barrier, reducing these side effects. Why are NSAIDs not recommended for patients with cardiovascular diseases? O oh answer, NSAIDs can increase the risk of thrombotic events like heart attack and stroke, particularly in higher doses or long-term use, making them risky for patients with existing cardiovascular conditions. What is aspirin's unique property among NSAIDs? O oh answer, Aspirin irreversibly inhibits COX enzymes, particularly COX-1, which leads to reduced thromboxana 2 production and has an antiplatelet effect, beneficial in preventing blood clots. Why should asthma patients be cautious when using NSAIDs? O oh answer, NSAIDs can exacerbate asthma symptoms in some individuals likely due to shifting the arachidonic acid metabolism from the COX pathway to the leukotriene pathway, which can increase bronchoconstriction. What are prostaglandins, and what role do they play in inflammation? O oh answer, prostaglandins are lipid compounds that mediate various physiological processes, including inflammation, by promoting vasodilation, vascular permeability, and sensitizing nerve endings to pain. How do H1 antihistamines differ from H2 antihistamines in their clinical use? O oh answer, H1 antihistamines are primarily used for allergies and symptoms like itching and runny nose, while H2 antihistamines are used for conditions like peptic ulcers and gastroesophageal reflux disease, as they reduce stomach acid production. 
Can NSAIDs be used in pregnancy? O oh answer, NSAIDs are generally avoided, especially in the third trimester, due to the risk of premature closure of the ductus arteriosus in the fetus and other potential adverse effects. What is anaphylaxis, and how are autocoids involved in it? O oh answer, anaphylaxis is a severe, life-threatening allergic reaction involving the release of autocoids like histamine, leading to symptoms like difficulty breathing, drop in blood pressure, and skin reactions. Why is paracetamol, acetaminophen, not classified as an NSAID? O oh answer, while paracetamol has analgesic and antipyretic properties similar to NSAIDs, it lacks significant anti-inflammatory effects and does not significantly inhibit COX enzymes. What is the risk of gastrointestinal bleeding with NSAID use, and how can it be mitigated? O oh answer, NSAIDs can cause gastrointestinal bleeding by inhibiting COX-1, which protects the gastric lining. This risk can be mitigated by using the lowest effective dose for the shortest duration, or co-prescribing gastroprotective agents like proton pump inhibitors. What are leukotrienes, and how are they related to NSAIDs? O oh answer, leukotrienes are inflammatory mediators produced from arachidonic acid via the lipoxygenase pathway. NSAID use can shift arachidonic acid metabolism towards increased leukotriene production. Explain the role of COX-2 selective inhibitors in cancer prevention. O oh answer, COX-2 selective inhibitors have been studied for cancer prevention, particularly colorectal cancer, as COX-2 overexpression is associated with tumor growth and spread. What are the effects of NSAIDs on kidney function? O oh answer, NSAIDs can reduce kidney function by inhibiting prostaglandins that dilate renal blood vessels, leading to reduced blood flow and potential kidney damage, especially in patients with existing renal impairment. Can antihistamines be used in treating motion sickness? O oh answer, yes, some first-generation antihistamines, for example, dimenidrinate, miclizine, are effective in preventing and treating motion sickness due to their anticholinergic properties. 12 Physicochemical Principles of Pharmacy What is the significance of solubility in pharmaceutical formulations? O oh answer, solubility is crucial for drug absorption and bioavailability. Poorly soluble drugs may have limited absorption, reducing their therapeutic effectiveness. How does pH affect drug solubility? O oh answer, the solubility of ionizable drugs depends on the pH of the medium and the drug's pKa. Acidic drugs are more soluble in basic environments, while basic drugs are more soluble in acidic environments. Define partition coefficient in pharmaceuticals. O oh answer. The partition coefficient is the ratio of concentrations of a compound in a mixture of two immiscible phases at equilibrium. It indicates the drug's lipophilicity and ability to cross cell membranes. What is the role of polymorphism in drug stability? O oh answer, polymorphism, the ability of a substance to exist in multiple crystalline forms can affect the physical and chemical properties of a drug, including stability, solubility, and bioavailability. Explain the importance of crystal habit in pharmaceuticals. O oh answer, crystal habit, shape and size of crystals, can influence drug dissolution rate, bioavailability, and stability, affecting the drug's performance and efficacy. How does particle size impact drug action? O oh answer, smaller particles have a larger surface area, enhancing dissolution rate and absorption, thus potentially increasing the drug's bioavailability. Describe eutectic mixtures in pharmacy. O oh answer, eutectic mixtures are combinations of two or more components that melt at a lower temperature than either of the individual components. They are important in formulating drugs with low melting points. 
What is isoelectric precipitation in drug formulation? O answer. Isoelectric precipitation is the process where a protein becomes insoluble at its isoelectric pH, used in protein drug formulation for controlled release or targeting. How does the henderson hasselbalch equation apply in pharmacy? O answer. This equation is used to calculate the pH of a buffer solution and understand the ionization state of drugs, which is important for predicting drug solubility and absorption. What is the significance of complexation in drug formulation? O answer. Complexation can enhance drug solubility, stability, and bioavailability. It involves forming a complex between a drug and another molecule, altering the drug's physicochemical properties. Explain the concept of osmotic pressure in pharmaceuticals. O answer, osmotic pressure is the pressure required to prevent the flow of solvent into a solution through a semipermeable membrane. It's important in designing controlled release formulations and parenteral solutions. How does viscosity impact drug administration? O answer, viscosity affects the flow properties of liquid formulations, impacting ease of administration, drug release, and absorption. Define colloidal systems in pharmacy. O answer, colloidal systems consist of finely divided particles dispersed in a medium. They are important in drug delivery systems for stability, controlled release, and targeting. What is the role of surfactants in drug formulations? O answer, surfactants reduce surface tension, enhance solubility, stabilize emulsions and suspensions, and can act as wetting agents in drug formulations. Describe the importance of chelation in drug action. O answer, chelation can enhance drug stability and solubility. Chelating agents can also be used in therapy to bind and remove toxic metals from the body. How do antioxidants function in pharmaceutical preparations? O answer, antioxidants prevent oxidation, thereby enhancing the stability and shelf life of pharmaceuticals, especially those prone to degradation. What is leophilization and its purpose in pharmacy? O answer, Leophilization, or freeze-drying, is used to increase the stability of heat-sensitive drugs by removing water under vacuum, resulting in a porous, easily reconstituted powder. Explain controlled release technology in drug formulations. O answer. Controlled release formulations deliver the drug at a predetermined rate, prolonging the drug's effect and improving patient compliance. Defined by availability in the context of drug delivery. O answer. By availability refers to the fraction of an administered drug that reaches the systemic circulation in its active form and at a rate to elicit its pharmacological effect. How does the co-solvency principle aid in drug solubilization? O answer. Co-solvency involves using a mixture of solvents to dissolve a drug enhancing solubility of poorly soluble drugs by reducing the interfacial tension between the drug and the solvent. 13. Pharmacotherapeutics Why is MENA administered with ifosfamide? O answer, MENA is used to prevent hemorrhagic cystitis, a serious side effect of ifosfamide treatment, by inactivating toxic metabolites. What is the significance of TPMT genotyping before mercaptopurin therapy? O answer, TPMT genotyping helps identify patients at risk of severe toxicity due to decreased metabolism of mercaptopurin. How does cyclophosphamide exert its antineoplastic effects? O answer, cyclophosphamide, an alkylating agent forms DNA crosslinks that interfere with cell division and DNA replication. Why is cardiac monitoring essential in pediatric patients treated with anthracyclines? O answer, anthracyclines can cause cardiotoxicity, including cardiomyopathy, which may manifest even years after treatment. 
What are the unique adverse effects associated with immune checkpoint inhibitors like nivolumab? O oh answer, they can cause immune-related adverse events, IRIS, due to enhanced immune function against tumors. How do targeted therapies function in cancer treatment? O oh answer, targeted therapies act on specific cellular targets that are involved in tumor growth, proliferation, or survival. What consideration is necessary when prescribing dacetinib in leukemia treatment? O oh answer, dacetinib requires an acidic environment for absorption, so concomitant use of acid-reducing agents like pantoprazole might reduce its efficacy. Why can bevacizumab worsen hypertension in patients with pre-existing cardiovascular disease? O oh answer, bevacizumab, a VEFOR inhibitor can increase blood pressure in a significant percentage of patients. What are the benefits of using computerized physician order entry, CPOE, in chemotherapy? O oh answer, CPOE enhances patient safety by reducing medication errors and standardizing the chemotherapy order entry process. Why is baseline cardiac assessment essential before starting an ARCHOP regimen? O oh answer, ARCHOP contains doxorubicin, an anthracycline, which can cause cardiomyopathy, necessitating a baseline echocardiogram. Why is trastuzumab specifically used for HER2 positive breast cancer? O oh answer, trastuzumab targets the HER2 receptor, which is overexpressed in certain breast cancers, making it effective in these cases. What is the importance of chemotherapy cycle and day numbers on medication order forms? O oh answer, they help in minimizing errors by clearly indicating the specific timing of chemotherapy administration. Why is ANC monitoring critical in patients receiving dose Daxel? O oh answer, low ANC, absolute neutrophil count, can indicate neutropenia a condition that increases the risk of infection and may require dose adjustment. What is the role of urinalysis in patients treated with bevacizumab? O oh answer, urinalysis is used to detect proteinuria, indicating potential kidney damage, a side effect of bevacizumab. How is lenalidomide dose adjusted in thrombocytopenia? O oh answer, Lenalidomide may need to be held or dose adjusted in cases of low platelet count, for example, PLT25, to avoid bleeding complications. What tumor marker is used in monitoring metastatic colorectal cancer? O oh answer, carcinombryonic antigen, CEA, is used for assessing response or recurrence in cases where it was elevated at diagnosis. How is the Mostela formula used in chemotherapy dosing? O oh answer, the Mostela formula is used to calculate body surface area, BSA, which helps in determining individualized chemotherapy doses. Why is hydration important in the management of hypercalcemia in cancer patients? O oh answer, hypercalcemia can cause dehydration and hydration helps to normalize serum calcium levels. What non-adherence issues can arise with oral anticancer medications like lenvatinib? O oh answer, patients may stop taking the medication due to side effects or not feeling well, known as non-persistence, impacting treatment efficacy. What is the role of teaching methods in chemotherapy education? O oh answer, Combining verbal instructions with video or audio recordings at home is effective in enhancing patient understanding and compliance. 14. Pharmaceutical chemistry What is the importance of stereochemistry in pharmaceutical chemistry? O oh answer, stereochemistry is crucial as the biological activity of a drug can significantly differ between its stereoisomers, affecting efficacy and safety. Define the term pharmacophor. O oh answer, a pharmacophor is an abstract description of molecular features necessary for molecular recognition of a ligand by a biological macromolecule. 
Explain the significance of Lipinski's rule of five in drug design. O answer, Lipinski's rule of five predicts the oral bioavailability of a drug based on its chemical properties, like molecular weight and lipophilicity. What is a prodrug, and why are they used? O answer, a prodrug is an inactive compound that metabolizes into an active drug in the body, used to improve solubility, absorption, or reduce side effects. How does the partition coefficient affect drug action? O answer, the partition coefficient, a measure of a drug's lipophilicity, affects its absorption, distribution, and crossing of biological membranes. What is the role of chelating agents in medication? O answer, chelating agents bind to metal ions, forming stable complexes. They are used to treat metal poisoning or in formulations to stabilize drugs. Define bioisostrism in pharmaceutical chemistry. O answer. Bioisostrism involves replacing one atom or group in a molecule with another, similar atom forward slash group, to modify its chemical or biological properties. How do antioxidants function in medications? O answer. Antioxidants prevent oxidation of active ingredients, prolonging drug shelf life and maintaining efficacy. What is the significance of the acid dissociation constant, Ka, in drug formulation? O answer, Ka indicates the strength of an acid in solution, influencing drug solubility and absorption at different pH levels. Explain the concept of drug polymorphism. O answer. Drug polymorphism refers to the existence of a drug in more than one crystal form, affecting its physical and chemical properties like solubility. Describe how drug metabolism affects drug design. O answer, drug metabolism can alter drug efficacy and toxicity. Understanding metabolic pathways is crucial for designing safer and more effective drugs. What is quantitative structure activity relationship, XA, in drug design? O answer, XA is a method that correlates a compound's chemical structure with its observed biological activity, aiding in the design of new drugs. How does salt formation impact drug properties? O answer, salt formation can enhance drug solubility and stability affecting its oral bioavailability and therapeutic efficacy. Explain the principle of drug-target interaction. O answer, drug-target interaction involves the binding of a drug to a biological target, such as a receptor or enzyme, to produce a therapeutic effect. A note to pharmacy, poem 1, the dance of pharmacokinetics in the Caribbean breeze, we sway to the rhythm of drugs ballet each day, pharmacokinetics, a dance so sweet, absorption, distribution, a wondrous feat metabolism's pirouette, in the liver's lair, first pass effect, with grace, we bear, excretions tango, in kidneys embrace, a dance of clearance, in this sacred space. Pharmacoepidemiologies watchful eyes, gather data, under tropical skies, tracking drug safety, in the island's law, a dance of science, on our sandy shore. Poem 2, the harmony of pharmacodynamics in the West Indies tranquil night, pharmacodynamics, a symphony of light, drugs and receptors, in perfect tune, efficacy and potency, beneath the moon. By availability, a star's bright gleam, determines a drug's therapeutic dream, in this Caribbean serenade, we sing, of drug action, like a feathered wing. Pharmacoepidemiology, the guardian's role, observing drug effects, to make us whole, in the harmony of island's gentle breeze, we find the answers, with utmost ease. Poem 3, Pharmacoepidemiology's quest Pharmacoepidemiology, the island's sage, in search of answers, in every age, through data's lens, we scrutinize, the drug's impact, under azure skies. In the West Indies sun-kissed land, we gather knowledge, hand in hand, with pharmacokinetics and dynamics grace, to ensure safety, in this sacred place. 
epidemiological tides ebb and flow, revealing patterns, both high and low, in the Caribbean's embrace, we chart, a course for health, a science's heart. Poem 4. The dance of pharmacokinetics revisited pharmacokinetics, like ocean waves, in the West Indies, a dance it engraves, absorption's current, gentle and strong, in the body's currents, it journeys along. Distribution, a voyage across the sea, through vessels, it finds its destiny, metabolism, a pirate's treasure chest, in the liver's cove, secrets rest. Excretions journey, kidneys might, clearance, like stars in the night, in the Caribbean's rhythm, we find, pharmacokinetics, intertwined. Poem 5, Efficacy's Island in the heart of the West Indies, so fair, efficacy reigns, beyond compare, potencies whispers in the trade winds blow, as drugs and receptors in harmony flow. By availability, like the coral's hue, determines a drug's voyage, tried and true, in this island paradise, we witness the feat, of pharmacodynamics, oh, so sweet. Pharmacoepidemiology's watchful eye, in this haven, under the cerulean sky, tracks drug effects, like treasures untold, in efficacy's island, stories unfold. Poem 6. The dance of pharmacoepidemiology Pharmacoepidemiology's dance so rare, in the West Indies vibrant air, with data's rhythm, we sway and glide, tracking drug safety, with hearts open wide. In this tropical paradise, we stand, with pharmacokinetics, hand in hand, and pharmacodynamics, in harmony's embrace, we seek answers, with grace and grace. Epidemiological stars in the night, guide our quest for health, so bright, in the Caribbean's gentle breeze, pharmacoepidemiologists dance to please. Poem 7, the symphony of pharmacodynamics revisited pharmacodynamics, like steel drums beat, in the West Indies, a rhythm so sweet, efficacy's melody, in the island's air, with potency's harmony, beyond compare. By availability, a song of the sea, determines a drug's fate, its decree, in this tropical serenade, we unite, pharmacodynamics, a beacon of light. Pharmacoepidemiology, vigilant and true, observing drug effects, under sky so blue, in the symphony of Caribbean's night, we find answers, in the soft moonlight. Poem 8, the island of pharmacoepidemiology revisited pharmacoepidemiology, the island's grace, in the West Indies, in every place, through data's lens, we paint the scene, tracking drug safety, like a dream. In this tropical haven, we roam, with pharmacokinetics, our island home, and pharmacodynamics, in perfect blend, seeking answers, to health we tend. Epidemiological waves, a tranquil tide, reveal truths, with nothing to hide, in the Caribbean's tender sway, pharmacoepidemiology's wisdom lights the way. Poem 9. The dance of pharmacokinetics redux pharmacokinetics, like the ocean's flow, in the West Indies, we come to know, absorption's voyage, like a sailor's tail, in the body's currents, we set sail. Distribution's journey, a ship at sea, in vessels, it finds its destiny, metabolism's fire, a pirate's song, in the liver's haven, secrets belong. Excretions dance, kidneys might, clearance, like stars in the night, in the Caribbean's rhythm, so profound, pharmacokinetics, forever bound. Poem 10, Efficacy's Serenade Revisited in the Heart of the West Indies Land, Efficacy reigns, hand in hand, potencies whispers in the warm breeze, drugs and receptors, with such ease. By availability, a tale of the sea, determines drugs course, its decree, in this island paradise, we find, pharmacodynamics, intertwined. Pharmacoepidemiology's watchful gaze, in this tranquil place, where time sways, tracks drug effects, like treasures untold, in efficacy's serenade, stories unfold. Poem 11, 
The dance of pharmacoepidemiology redux pharmacoepidemiology's dance so bright, in the West Indies, in the day and night, with data's rhythm, we gently glide, tracking drug safety, with hearts open wide. In this tropical haven, hand in hand, with pharmacokinetics, we understand, and pharmacodynamics, in harmony's grace, we seek answers, with an island's embrace. Epidemiological stars above, guide our quest for truth and love, in the Caribbean's gentle breeze, pharmacoepidemiologists dance to please. Poem 12, a Caribbean ode to pharmacology in the West Indies embrace so warm, pharmacology's secrets we transform, pharmacokinetics, dynamics, and more, in this paradise, we do explore. Pharmacoepidemiologists watchful eye, beneath the Caribbean's endless sky, in this land where waters meet, pharmacology's mysteries are complete. In the rhythm of the island's grace, pharmacology's dance, we all embrace, in the West Indies, our hearts align, a symphony of science so divine. Thanks for listening to the podcast series The New Student Pharmacist, where we discuss chemistry and pharmacy, as well as leaders in pharmacy careers, community, and chemistry and pharmacy research. We encourage you to support the work we are doing and follow us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts by subscribing for free. We are so glad that you were able to tune in today. Note, the views on the podcast represent those of my guest, and I take care and all the best. These views do not reflect the guest or interviewee today. These are solely the views of the original podcast host. This is my father's world. I rest me in the thought of rocks and trees, of skies and seas, his hands the wonders wrought. 2 Corinthians 5.20 We are therefore Christ's ambassadors, as though God were making his appeal through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. With that in mind, if you are curious about the growing success or progress of the podcast host, or any of his guests who are persons of faith, here is an optional open invitation to hear the gospel. In the words of Tim Keller here is the gospel, quotes is, the gospel is this, we are more sinful and flawed in ourselves than we ever dared believe, yet at the very same time we are more loved and accepted in Jesus Christ than we ever dared hope. So if you are interested feel free to pray this prayer with me, Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner, and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. In your name. Amen. If you believe that, you are now saved and a child of God. Take care. God bless and look for Bible teaching churches or gospel-based churches to grow and develop in Christ. You are very important, especially to us here at the New Chemist Podcasting Group. You listening in is significant. Vous êtes très important, surtout pour nous ici au New Chemist Podcasting Group. Votre écoute est significative. Usted es muy importante, especialmente para nosotros aquí en The Nuche Mist Podcasting Group. Usted escuchando, es significativo. Você é muito importante, especialmente para nós do The New Chemist Podcasting Group. Você ouvindo, é significativo. Είστε πολύ σημαντικοί, ειδικά για εμάς εδώ στο The New Chemist Podcasting Group. Το να ακούς είναι σημαντικό.
Sie sind sehr wichtig, besonders für uns hier bei The New Chemist Podcasting Group. Es ist wichtig, dass du zuhörst. Je bent erg belangrijk, vooral voor ons hier bij The New Chemist Podcasting Group. Dat je meeluistert, is veel betekenend. You are very important, especially to us here at the New Chemist Podcasting Group. You listening in is significant.